Hey guys, the Marchan from Monkey Fish here. And today I decided to make a vlog because I get day off in my work. Because in Denmark it's some kind of holiday today. That normally you work only half your daily time. So my boss said that I don't have to show up today to the work because I cannot do much only in the half day. So it was not worth it. So I decided to use this time to bike a little bit and maybe shoot some video. So, and also I testing my GoPro, how it's good with sounds when you are outside. So, we'll see later in home. But as you know, I'm not so, so crazy about vlogging, but I will try it, make this nice for you. And plan for this vlog is that I will bike to the park and over there I will make some stop and I will stop there for a while and I will try to show you how you can build your own meteor hammer and this is Chinese weapon this is like a soft you can, you can say soft weapon because it's a rope but it's not really soft <laughs> yeah but I will stop in the park and show you how to make your own meteor hammer. I will show you how to build a safe one, not hard one, so you, when you train you will not uh, injure yourself. So you will not get out of blue marks, maybe some of them. <laughs> yeah, but the story behind the this weapon is that when I was younger I liked to compete in the competitions where was uh, musical forms. And musical forms is exactly the same things like extreme martial arts. You're creating your own kata or form. You have to hide in this kata some acrobatic movements and play this nicely to the music. So everything fit perfect together. Like acrobatic movements and martial art movements and music so every year I show up in this kind of competition with different weapons and once I think it was 2014 maybe I show up with a rope dart slash meteor hammer because I could not use the blade on this competition so I use the weight and later I searched on the internet that when you have a weight on not a blade it is metal hammer not rope dart so I make by myself this kind of weapon and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own every year I try to show up with different weapons because this was some kind of motivation for me so I could learn something new and in a really short time I could try get some nice level but you know this was just for performance not for fighting so I just do some nice looking movements and tricks so I could look good <laughs> yeah but today I will show you some basic movements what you can try by yourself yeah. now I have to change my plan because this park what I would like to go record this is very cloudy because is some event for kids over there and I don't want to record over there so I have to go found another place so let's bike there yeah we are here I think you recognize this place this is the place where I record some stuff before over there is this water place so yeah so first I'm going to show you my own robot, the stuff what you need to build it. Yes, but my rope dart slash meteor hammer is in this green bag. 
is really cool about this weapon that it's really small and you can actually fit it in your pocket. Show it. It's in the pocket. So it's really cool about this weapon because probably you could not fit your pocket sword or another stuff. <laughs> yeah. So this is how it looks. It's normal rope. A little bit of small piece of chain and weight. I used for that leg of the couch. So it's from the wood and I don't recommend it to start with these things because I get hit a few times my head or my feet with that and it's not nice feeling. I don't recommend it. That's why I'm going to show you how to make the safe one. Yes, and between the chain and rope I put a red fabric so when they swing in this can look nice when you swing it. Actually I have a two version of Meteor Hammer. It's the first one. And I have a second one. Second one is like this. I just may have a long I have a long uh, chain and with a bit longer rope and also in the end is leg off from the couch also from the wood and also red fabric so when you swing in this can look cool I just hit my leg it doesn't matter yeah but let's get started so what we need for the Meteo Hammer the training version tennis ball but I bought a ball for dogs because they are cheaper than tennis ball and you don't need a tennis ball for this and you have to do a hole inside I did it in home because I didn't want to bring here my drilling machine because it's too heavy <laughs> yeah but you have this you have a rope you have a, these things for knitting we're going to start with the rope first. We're going to make an ending like this. You can have also another ending or just like this. But this just looks cooler and this can give you extra weight and you can better grip so you will not lose it when you swing it around. <laughs> so how to make these things? You have to put this rope like this just found the right size maybe it can be smaller I, don't know. I think this is going to be okay and now we have to go around 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 quite tight and now when you have this kind of loop you have to put the ending to the loop yes and now just move everything up so the loop is going to be smaller and catch the ending. So now we have a, this kind of things. The next part is that you have to put the rope through the ball. I will use these things. Here because it's easier so just put this through the ball like this have to put this inside Ta so now you have to just tighten the rope here up. And, up. and it's ready our safe metal hammer so and when you hit yourself you will not get any blue mark with this one you would get it <laughs> because you can compare the sound yeah this one is not nice it's much nice now when we have already our weapon I would like to show you 
some basic moves what you can train with it and yeah but I am not an expert with that so I don't know any names of the techniques I will just show you what I did when I trained it with this and I will show you three techniques and later we can combine them together so we create some combo with those three techniques so let's get started so the first technique is going to be like this I just start swinging the ball in front of you you can try to do something like this so you can feel more comfortable about it so when ball is on the top you have to put your leg on front of you and the ball have to go around your leg like this so I, I slow down a little bit for you so like up, up This is the first move. One more time. You go here, bam, 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 up, up, up. And you shoot on the on front of you. One more time. So this is our first move. Second move is kind of similar to this one, but it's easier. Instead of going to under your leg, you go under your elbow. It's more like to the armpit. So instead of swinging under your leg, you swing in under your elbow. So it's like this: up, 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 up. It's easier. If you get this one, you go to another one. Another one, I think is the easiest from this three, but it's more technical. It's going to be just about the pushing the ball in front of you. So when ball come back to you, you shoot in front of you. So you have to shoot this way. Way. It's important that you, when you kick this ball, keep it straight, like an arrow, straight in front of you, and you don't make a loop like this. Because when you get this move, you can try to combine everything together. So. I think now it's time to go home and thank you for watching see you next time like subscribe and stuff like this see you Bang.